Hi friends, today's recipe is going to be very special. I will be showing you how to make your own avocado oil at home. Avocado oil has so many uses and health benefits. You can use it for cooking, for your hair, for skin treatment and many others. There are various methods of extracting avocado oil. But today we are using the cold press method meaning no heat will be applied to the avocados yet we are going to extract our avocado oil there are many species of avocado but the best species to produce avocado oil is called the fuet species and to produce one liter of avocado oil we need about 80 medium sized avocados yes that is the reason why avocado oil is so expensive stay tuned let me show you the easiest way to make your avocado oil at home so to begin with we cut open our avocados and then using a spoon we scoop out the flesh please ensure that your avocados are very ripe overripe avocados as well can be used to produce avocado oil i said overripe avocados not rotten avocados so please don't use rotten avocados to produce your avocado oil the results will not be good at all the smell will not be nice there is actually a difference between overripe and rotten avocado oil can be used to make salad dressings as well as cooking so get ready to take your salad dressing to another level avocado oil brings a delightful creaminess and a touch of richness to salad dressing, making them irresistibly delicious. So it is a perfect base to produce salad dressing. At this point, using a fork, we proceed to mash the avocados. You can use a hand blender, you can use a potato masher, whatever you have, just use it to mash the avocados into a paste. Avocado oil, can equally be used for sauteing, stir frying, or even deep frying. It is very rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, good for the overall well-being of the body. So at this point, we are done mashing the avocados, and this is what we are looking for. So since the quantity is a bit much, I'm going to share it into two different trays, and then using the same fork i gently spread it out apart from cooking avocado oil is mostly used by the cosmetic industries avocado oil is a game changer for your hair it nourishes and moisturizes the scalp and gives a shiny and smooth texture to your hair it equally stimulates the hair follicles and enhance a better hair growth Avocado oil is equally very good for skin care. It is a natural moisturizer for all skin types. Whether you have a dry, oily, or sensitive skin, avocado oil can work wonders. It penetrates deep into the skin, leaving your complexion soft, supple, and glowing. So, once we are done spreading on the trays, we leave it in a warm, airy place for it to dry up. You can choose to dry in the sun, but you might end up losing some nutrients. So to have the best quality avocado oil, just leave it in a warm, airy environment. You can cover with a cheesecloth to prevent flies. So after 24 hours, this is what we have. It has started to turn brown. So using a fork, we gently mix everything together. So the purpose of mixing is to allow the avocados to dry up evenly. So you mix up the avocado at least once or twice within 24 hours. If you don't do this, the avocados will begin to smell and your oil will end up having an awful smell. So this is the third day and our avocados are almost dry. So at this point, we gently scrape off and mix it together and then we continue drying for one more day. So in total, I dried the avocado paste 
for four days. So guys, you need to really be patient when making avocado oil. It actually takes much time, but it is worth the time. Please kindly like this video so that many others will be able to see this video. And if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. So as you can see, our avocado paste is almost dried up, but we still have a little bit of green paste. So we continue drying till everything turns dark brown. So we continue to dry the avocado paste for another 24 hours. And the next day, this is what we have. The avocado paste has completely dried up or turned brown, dark brown. So we gently scrape off the dried avocado paste and bring everything together. And we are now moving to the most important part of this recipe. So we are using a cheesecloth to gently squeeze out the avocado oil. So we transfer the dried avocado paste into a cheesecloth and then we gather everything together and we apply some pressure and squeeze out the avocado oil just as you can see on the video. And we are done. You see how easy it is? This is all we could get manually. Look at the chaffs. This could be used to feed animals. No wastage. Let's take a look at our avocado oil. And here we have our cold pressed, natural and healthy avocado oil. We used five medium sized avocados and we are able to have about 60 milliliters of avocado oil. Do you find this video helpful? Please hit the like button so that many others will be able to learn from this video. If it's your first time stopping by here, you are most welcome. Hit the subscribe button below to join this beautiful family. And to my returning subscribers, mm, mm, thumbs up for you all. Thank you so much for the constant support i greatly appreciate you all stay blessed and i will see you in my next video bye bye